Hey guys, a uh, quick video. I've sorted out the Roman profile, so I'm going to make a very quick video on how to how I did it. Uh, I did it original by GPO, but I found a better way of doing it. Just it's uh, what's smoother. As you can see, I've logged on to two different accounts. Uh, use my sh Roman profile folder here. There's the two accounts I've logged on as. Don't get access to them because it's uh, owned by the user. That's where it should be. And there's the other one. Uh, just show you them working. I've never ever logged on to any of these characters on this computer, on this one here. It's just been connected to the domain, so this this computer has never been on the domain. So let's see if it works. It would help if I can remember the usernames. Ten. So all gone is ten, and I created a folder called test on the desktop so, so let's see what it comes up and there it is and this computer has never been on the domain this is its first time logged in and there's the folder that I created it's empty but there it is right now I'll show you how I did it Right, first we'll do one for the internet users now. So, new folder. Roman net we'll call this one, right? And the first thing we do is we sort out the permissions of the folder. And this is one of the big places where we're going wrong. Uh, so open it. Uh, properties and click on security tab. As you see. And now we need to click on the advanced. And then the change permission. This box here, we are meant to untick, and this that's what stops us being able to look into the profiles. That's what blocks that from happening. So we'll untick that and click Add. And for these are the two user profiles that are going to be used to connect. You see them here. So uh, I'm trying to remember this isn't going. Yeah, click on there, and we'll edit that one. And we change this to this folder only. Then hit OK. And we do the same to the other one. As you can see, that's changed to special. And once I've done this one, there will only be one user folder there. If it's done correctly. And there you go, only one folder. Uh, I'll be trying to find it, don't think there's anything else you need to do there. So we'll just hit OK and OK again. And then we want to go to sharing because we do actually need to share the thing. <laughs> right, so we'll share. Wrong, wrong button. Advanced sharing. Share this folder and share name. We're just going to do that, but we're going to put a dollar at the end of it to hide the folder. And then we'll go to permissions and we want full control for everyone, but it could. It can only be gotten to a certain way, so I'll show you guys that, and it can't be found, it's hidden. 
So this is all okay. So I hit okay there and close it. And now I'm going to copy this address. Go into the Active Directory. I've got internet users. These are the internet users, so I'll select all them guys. And go properties, profile, profile path. And this is this is what we were doing before. It had to be a UNC name, a direct name to the server. So basically the name, if you were remotely connecting to it, not the actual C drive name. And and that username and percentage signs uh, automatically puts uh, the username of the person that signed in for you. And what we're doing then is do another. That's profile. So that's where the profile will sit. And hit OK. And that's done. Right, so now we'll go to one of the PCs. Uh, this one. Okay, why did it do that? Right, MPC one. Yes, it up. It takes a while to prepare the desktop. What if you? The reason it takes a while, as you see, there's no messages coming up saying we've got the wrong profile or anything. And if you go back to the server. Go to C, uh, the new folder we created, Romanet. It should have had that in there. Unless I've done something wrong. Okay, I have done something wrong. <laughs> It's very strange because it's exactly the same reason done it for. Just try this. Yeah, I figured that out. You don't actually need to open command prompt. You just type that in, and it does it itself. done wrong guys. Oh, so simple, so stupid. Oh, so we'll reselect all these again. This is kind of stuff we were doing yesterday that wasn't, uh, was causing it not to work, but we just didn't know any better. I had that folder, so has to have that in it, or it just won't see it. Right, let's give it another go, shall we? I'm going to log on his game PC. NPC, we'll go NPC 5. In desktop. Uh, 
Ah, and there you go. And there it is there. So we've done the, the reason it didn't work was just just to recap. The reason it didn't work is because I forgot to put this dollar sign in here. That's it. That's the reason it didn't work that last time. But just to... Where did I log in? This one? We'll just double check. NPC5 yet? Yeah, we'll just... Uh, Right, so we're using net PC right now. So I log off. And I'll go to games PC. There's log off. This is a different PC I'm logging in from. And there's a folder I just created. So, uh, that's it. I think this is the way we should do it because it works. Right, bye.